Um, we'll get started with your guys' sophomore album, In the Making, which mm -hmm. I love and I'm a huge fan of it. And so why don't you talk a little bit about the differences? Because when I listen to the first album to the second album, I'm like, this is like a completely mm -hmm. different band to me. So when you guys finished the first one, were you like, okay, just learned a lot going into recording the second one, or just you're like, we want to do something different? Um, I think we definitely learned a lot. The first record, we always say, it wouldn't have been anything without the producer, yeah. James Wisner, because we were a, a really young band, and we weren't very good at making the songs lock in, but <laughs> there was potential, you know? Oh, yeah. And uh, he kind of took it from, you know, in my opinion, being a, a decent album to a pretty good album. Mm -hmm. um, the thing we realized was that the songs that everyone loved off the first record were songs like Lover and uh, Oh Child and a lot of the softer mm -hmm. songs. And I think really people connected more with them musically and also lyrically yeah. um, instead of the more almost pop punk mm -hmm. uh, songs. So on In the Making we, we were like, you know, let's take what we do well um, and let's just do it even better, you know? Yeah. So that's why the, the second record's a lot more thoughtful and a lot more, mm -hmm. you know, a lot softer. I read somewhere about how, you know, in the second album, your lyrics are way more honest, let's mm -hmm. say, than the first album. And is that easier for you guys to write or almost a little bit harder? Um, I actually prefer it. Yeah. Um, I think when you're a young band and you, you sign a record deal, mm -hmm. your mindset is kind of like, well, what do people want to hear? What do people want to hear? And I think you may try to write with that mindset and it may actually, you know, work against you. Yeah. What, you know, what I've realized is what people want to hear is honesty. Mm -hmm. And... You know, talking to people after the show and hearing their story and telling them my story and even praying with people and stuff, yeah. that's, that's where it's at, you know. Mm -hmm. It's not about, it's less about the hook and it's less about, you know, making, making Christians feel good and happy. Yeah. Know? Because, let's face it, n nothing's good and happy 100% of the time, mm -hmm. you know. So we try to touch on the really happy moments of life and also yeah. the harder moments where people can really connect and they need, you want to feel like someone's in it with you, mm -hmm. you know. After shows, you know, we always hang around the table and talk to, talk to kids, and uh, the most random thing, we noticed a pattern, and it was that kids would tell us their secrets, and kids would say, hey man, can I talk to you over here? Yeah. Um, I'm on drugs, you know, like, mm -hmm. seriously, like, yeah. anything you can imagine, and, and I'm, I always ask, you know, does anyone know, does your, does your parents know, yeah. or your friends, and they're always like, there's no way I could tell any of those people, mm -hmm. um, because people would judge me, and people would you know, kick me out of the church or, or anything, you know, they're yeah. just scared to tell people. So they would tell us, I guess because we're safe because we leave and drive to the next mm -hmm. city. Um, and I guess I just realized that people everywhere, including ourselves, you know, we, we're scared to open up and we're scared to share things that we've done um, for fear of being judged, for fear yeah. of being found out. Um, but I don't think anyone is healed by keeping secrets, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we're healed by um, confession. Uh, Brennan Manning, mm -hmm. uh, Ragamuffin Gospel, mm -hmm. said the church should be a, um, a hospital for sinners and yeah. not a museum for saints. That's and good. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. When kids want to come up and they actually want to talk about something serious, yeah. you know, I, I love that. And yeah. I'll, I'll jump at the opportunity. And I think, um, you know, it's actually more of an encouragement. Mm -hmm. it, it encourages us to keep ourselves in check and stay in, stay in the Word. Yeah. Um, it, it encourages us to, to make sure that we're available mm -hmm. as well and not lose sight of the main thing, which is ministry, and yeah. not just jumping around on stage, you know. Mm -hmm. What bands are you guys currently into? Or Actually, believe it or not, I, li I like Taylor Swift. <laughs> I won't, yeah. I like I'm like Taylor a teen, Swift too. teen lover right now. <laughs> yeah, no, she's good. Mm -hmm. I keep trying to convince Eddie that she's a genius. <laughs> but um, She's a genius songwriter. She's, yeah. So I, I just bought that recently. Um, lot, a lot of stuff, man. I'm trying to think. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. 